This is Garrison and Steven over at Bumpsteads. We're gonna go over a few things about uh, fixed gear freestyle and the things that have been changing a little bit. One of the big things that a lot of guys are putting on their bikes right now are BMX style cranks. There is one bad thing to BMX style cranks that a lot of people don't know about. You can't run just a normal BMX style crank like this with a boss bolt. One of the big things is fixed gear is putting a lot of tension on your cranks and your sprocket. So trying to put a normal style BMX crank doesn't actually work because of this bolt. If you look on normal BMX cranks, it is a bolt that actually holds the sprocket to the crank. With the tension, like I was saying before, this bolt actually strips out. We have a lot of friends that actually are constantly tightening, tightening their boss bolts every time they ride because it doesn't stay tight with the tension. The solution to that is a splined sprocket. What it actually is, is an insert into a sprocket that makes it splined like the spindle, it's 48 a splined spindle. It actually makes the sprocket connect to the spindle. So instead of spinning with the crank, it's actually spinning with the spindle, taking the tension off the bolt in general. There is no bolt. Some companies do aluminum inserts onto an aluminum sprocket, um, which strips out. So Steven's gonna go over what you should really look for in a sprocket. You really should be looking for something like these. These are from Profile. This is the Elite Spline Sprocket. Um, this has a steel insert on aluminum uh, chain ring. Profile, Demolition, they're doing a couple of different ones. Also, there's a brand called Tree Light. They're doing one too. So, uh, Resist is another company that we're probably gonna be getting some products from in the future. They're, uh, that's a new brand uh, that's volume and uh, Demolition's kind of little fixed gear nephew. The cool part about having a spline sprocket is you can run no boss cranks. So here's my right crank arm, and if you look on this side also, there is no boss. So there's no bolt holes. You don't have another weld joint right here. We've seen people crack their boss this area. Also riding on fixed gear, we've even seen the aluminum and the chain rings start to ovalize, and this thing just slips all over the place and it feels like your chain's not tight and it just, it's a bummer.